The market was characterised by increased volatility this year. It was politically charged and conditions were very uncertain. While we had low interest rates, we saw a cyclical trend higher. We also saw in the oil business decreased margins, increased competition and less arbitrage opportunities, which was challenging. One of the major highlights was this year marked our 25th anniversary. Some would say it was a coming of age. It's a really nice milestone to have reached. Other areas of highlights was you know, strong trading performance from both our minerals and metals division particularly, and also oil, particularly in the second half. From a financing point of view, we increased our lines in what could be considered to be a more challenging credit environment. And importantly, we did so with new innovative products such as the Panda Bond out of China. Another area was a partnership with IFM, an infrastructure fund. And despite increasing commodity prices, we were able to reduce our leverage to below target levels, which is a real sign of discipline and rigor in our finance department and our trading activities. Minerals and Metals had a very strong year, one of its best performing years. They were the largest contributor to gross profit. They had significant increase in volumes and also from a refined metals and concentrates point of view, maintained a very robust and strong market share. Coal also was able to demonstrate uh, innovative ideas in terms of uh, inventory management in certain areas to service their customer base. Oil increased volume significantly through the year. 8% year-on-year growth, averaging 5.8 million barrels of physical oil per day. But the market environment was challenging. We had decreased margins and increased competition, but it still looks very well set on a forward-looking basis and still a strong contributor to profit for the group throughout the year. The result shows the resilience of our business model. We have three strands of our business. We have the oil trading activity, the minerals and metals trading activity, and our investment program. And they're all very decorrelated. They provide significant benefits to the group and sustainable profits over a long period of time. And also we have a very strong talent pool. This is fundamental for the success of the company on a long-term basis. Through our grad programs, our junior trader programs, and the, just the general education we have of our staff, very diverse pool, culturally diverse, gender diverse, and I think it provides an excellent platform for the growth of the company. I think the other highlights, particularly in a volatile year, was the focus we have on our customer base. Our business is a service business. We were able to expand our customer base, our geography, our spread of business, and we did this in a very methodical and structured manner. We also maintained a very disciplined approach around our risk management and our credit. This is imperative, particularly as we're moving into potentially a more difficult cycle. The US has played a very important role for our oil trading activities. It's amazing to think since December 15 when exports of crude were announced and the impact that we have had in that marketplace. We are now one of the largest exporters of crude from that region. They've had a significant participation in the infrastructure development of that country. And we're further doing that through a facility that we're currently permitting, which is the single point mooring system from Texas, which will allow the loading of very large crude carriers from that region to the export marketplace. In addition, the gas market is important. We're playing a role there with respect to exports of gas and being one of the largest exports of dry gas into Mexico. Core to our strategy is partnerships, aligned interest for the successful development of new and existing infrastructure and industrial assets that we have. The IFM transaction was one whereby they participated on a 50-50 joint venture basis within our warehousing and Paraguay barging operations. We are publishing the responsibility report at the same time as our annual report. It's just a natural process we feel is appropriate for our organisation as we mature and move forward in this transparency initiative. The highlight of the responsibility report, the challenges and progress that we had made in meeting our commitments in managing a responsible business. This year, we have improved our environmental disclosure by more accurately reporting our greenhouse gas emissions and also having a far more clearly defined climate change strategy. Our approach is characterised by engagement and transparency, and we will intensify these efforts into 2019. We expect the market to remain volatile. Uh, we're going to have probably a slowdown in GDP growth in the second half of 2019, increased interest rates, and we're going to see continued impact on trade through tariffs and government sanctions, which are going to be challenging. We will see a volatile market and a volatile environment, 
and quite frankly that is probably good for us. We're able to adapt to those market changes. You'll see non-conventional movements of materials within our platform, I think will do well. From a people point of view, it's very important to be able to have the competency and expertise to manage that. And I'm very confident that we've got the right skill sets within our organisation to adapt to these market changes and perform in what could be regarded as a challenging environment. We don't see volumes reducing at all. In fact, we could probably still further increase our volumes. And this is even dependent on whether we see a change into the low carbon environment, whereby we'll see a different mix of commodities. We're well diversified and we should be able to accommodate those changes. With our strong position in our metals and minerals business, which we expect to continue into 2019, a refocused and re-energised oil trading division and a maintenance of our disciplined approach in our investment activities, we believe that 2019 will be a very strong year.